in the book of Joshua chapter 2, verse 1, God said, Joshua said, send two boys from the land of Shittim, from the family of Shittim, to go into the land of Jericho, to spy the land. God will not give you a new instruction until you obey the last one. When you obey the last one, then he gives you. And he, they now went to the house of Rahab, the prostitute, and they lodged there. My question is, why did they go to the house of Rahab, the prostitute? Is there something a prostitute has that we may need to learn from? Every single one of us here are spiritual, so I'm not going to quote the Bible. The first and most important thing that a prostitute takes her time with her beauty. She dresses up. She prepares herself. She packages herself. She dresses for her target so that when her target sees her, her target is moved. Her perfume is deliberate. Her hair is deliberate. Her dress is deliberate. Her perfume might be maybe a mouage, interlude, perfume for kings. Her, her shoes may be Prada. Her dressing may be on point. Everything is deliberate. Why? Because of her target. So question one, why do Christians dress poor? Because people address you by the way you dress. My leader, exceptional ego, said that your humility is what is killing you. At one time, I said I didn't want a car. My brother, when I entered Dubai a few times, I changed my mind. Quick. I quickly changed my mind. A few of my colleagues, some people, they went to buy me a 570. I didn't buy the car. They bought it for me. They said we would not allow you because if your mind should go down, the company goes down. It's a function of the leadership. If the leadership goes down, the system is dead. So if your family is going to progress, you as leader, as a husband, you have to come up. If there's a failure in your family, it's traceable to the husband. If there's a failure in your company, it's traceable to the leadership. If there's a failure in your department, it's traceable to the leadership. So if you want your leadership to, if I see your department, I know the size of your leadership. That's all. I don't need to look left. A prostitute takes time to dress. Dress for your address. Don't come for RFF meetings or don't come for to, to, to church with, with your shirt, with Mount, um, what do you call it, map of East Africa on one side. And you are trying to say we are Christians. There is no, if you are, if you are if, okay, like me, sometimes when I buy my clothes, I now tell my colleagues, come. I want to give like everything out of my clothes. So some of you, your houses are too full with clothes. Empty it. Look for brothers in church who don't have shirts, who don't have trousers, and give them. Until you give out, none will come back into you. None will come back. None will come back. If you have two cars in your house and one parking space, give one car out. Give one car out. Try God and see what happens. And I'm saying it deliberately because I've given out cars. I've given out shirts. I've given out. And I've seen what has happened. I have a problem with my wardrobe. It does not want to stop filling up. When I fill it up, I push it out. It fills up itself. How the clothes come? Some of those clothes, I don't buy them. They find their way to me. Give and it shall be given. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Running over. Dress for your address. When I was working with my team, working with my team, I now said that if I go anywhere, how do they see me? How do they see Mike? How do they see this? How do they see my colleagues? I say, in case they, like when they wanted to arrest Jesus, they looked at Jesus. They said, which one of them is Jesus? Because they were all looking alike. That was why I decided that cars should be bought for my colleagues. I cannot have a Jeep and my colleague will have a sedan, God forbid. So that in case they want to shoot me, they can shoot him. <laughs> I didn't mention names here. <laughs> Number one, dress for your address. Number two, a prostitute is bold. If you like, carry your kekena pep. Come there, she'll tell you to pass. Carry your kada, tell you to pass. Carry your skoda. 
pass. But you make mistake and go near her with your BMW i series, gun wing, light under the car. Hey, she will flag you down. Go there with your Rolls Royce, she will flag you down. She will even fall down so that you will notice her. She does not talk to the small boys. She talks to the big boys. Why do Christians do small, small business? Recharge card business. Buy card here, buy recharge card here, buy pure water here. It's a waste of executive time. Stop it. The cattle on a thousand mountain belongs to our God. The silver and the gold belongs to him. Where are my eagles? Number three, a prostitute has contacts. She knows the good and the bad boys in town. She knows a gas driver. She knows how to cultivate him. If it's the son's birthday, she buys presents for the son. She knows the teacher. She's able to cultivate. She gives the mega something here and there, here and there. Give the mega something. If they're looking for a girl, who will she call? Who do you know? You are too spiritual for success. Ah. Hey. When you see somebody, you instead of you saying, How are you? You say, God bless, bless. You. God bless 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 you. Not bless, bless. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Because of that, I had to find a way out of that, listen, and develop contact. I had to be a bad boy in God's house. I had to penetrate the market. When Joshua was sending boys, he did not send good boys. He sent boys that were skilled. Somebody says skilled. Uh, stop all this uh, sanctimoniousness. Eh? They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall be expert. Stop all this um, sanctimoniousness. Eh? They sent boys that were skillful. Skillful. Number four, a prostitute has intelligence. I'm not saying he's intelligent. She has intelligence. She knows where they are spending the money. If you want to succeed, you must know how to follow the money. Follow it. How much are they spending in Lagos State? Spending around that your business. Who has the money? Where is the money going to? Follow the money. It was the reason why I did not do guarding. Guarding was just a, an attachment. I followed maritime because 95% of Nigeria's body was there. Follow the money. Number five, relationship management. Online, I'm doing a series, how to talk to a stranger. You don't go to a stranger and say, good morning, sir, how are you doing? No, 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 no. That's wrong penetration strategy. If I look at you, I say, ah, MC Bayern. Man, that's my club. Once I say that, it will enter the person. Once the man responds, okay, how are you? Good morning. I don't say hello first. It's wrong penetration strategy. You catch the person in the lift, say, sir, I like your shoes. Yes, I like them. The person will look at them and he will smile. Once the person says you have entered the person, stop trying to be officials. Who officials help? 